So uh, in this little lesson, we're going to learn about the equality of thirds. Third is a strange word. We actually don't use it much in uh, American English, but it gave rise to our word absurd, which means something that is very, very strange. Uh, a third is an irrational radical, such as the square root of 2, the square root of 3, the square root of 5, etc. This is a somewhat complicated topic, but I'll try to present it simply. Now, if a plus b times x equals c plus d times x, does it necessarily follow that a equals c and b equals d? Um, so let's say that our x is going to be a radical, but in this case it's a rational radical, square root of 4, which is equal to 2. And so we could set it up so we've got our a plus bx. Uh, so our x is going to be 2. And then here we've got a c plus dx. Okay, And we're going to say that a is 1, b is 4, c is 3, d is 3. Okay, Now, when we look at it, so obviously 1 plus 4 times 2, 8 equals 9. Uh, 3 plus 3 times 6 also equals 9, but very clearly a does not equal c. 1 and 3 are not the same. 4 does not equal 3. So in the case of rational radicals, such as the square root of